You said something that made them question their ways. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. Do not forget this. Emotional vampire. You finally had enough of somebody. And uh, something was said, and I don't even know if you know that you said it or know the reaction because this is a person who was not going to show you how they're really reacting. A lot of pride. A lot of pride. But I want you to know that you said something they really needed to hear. Narcissist vibes. Well, there's a shock. There's a shock. Now or never. Whoa. Okay, you know what that means for this is that you said it exactly when it was supposed to be said. Yeah. And I do get the sense that it was something said in person, although it doesn't have to be. I think for most of you, it was, you know, it could have been over text or something. It was something, I believe, in person tied down. Ooh. You made them, yeah, when I said you made them question their ways, what did you say to them? Hmm. Settling. Sort of goes with the tied down. Hmm. Communication. Hmm. Okay. Dead end. Okay. Tied down, settling, dead end. These are all sort of right in the same vein here. You said something. This is about your communication, but now they want to communicate with you. They are dying to communicate with you. <laughs> what did you say? It was triggered something. Like you made them think about something they were doing. Um, or the way that they were treating... Oh, gosh. You called them out. A lot of them, okay. You called them out on their bad behavior. I think that's pretty obvious, but not necessarily what you think. I didn't mean to hurt you. Will, you still want me. You are beautiful inside and out. Gosh. Okay. They're upset that... Okay, you made them feel tied down with someone else, and now they're thinking about you. You made them feel like their life was a dead end. What did you say to them? <laughs> Emotional vampire. Like, you didn't even realize... I don't know if this is someone you want to be, like, into you, but they are. You were an important lesson for me. Do not forget this. I mean, it's like you say, You have a habit of doing this, though. You're someone who does this. You make me feel understood. That's what it really goes back to. When I say you have a habit of doing this, it's like people connect with you on a very real level and form an attachment to you that you don't quite understand. They just see it. Like, it's spiritual. It's spiritual. Okay? Let me just pull some cards to give you some advice. Because, whoa. Because this is really, this whole thing is to let you know that you are on the right path, that you are extremely intuitive. I get people say that to me all the time. How do I become more intuitive? You are. <laughs> do you not see that here? You are, because you're going through life saying what people need to hear at times. Write about this. <laughs> you need to do this as a lesson for yourself. I want you to, if you're not already doing it, keep a journal of some sort. But you know, less is more in a journal. Like If you want to do like codes and stuff, the reason I say that is because all words are a spell. Just be careful what you write, okay? But you need to make a note of this because it's a big deal. Go easy on yourself. Whoa. Go easy on yourself. Hmm. You know, I think at times you've said stuff where like in hindsight, you're like, I shouldn't have said that. And maybe at times you could have been nicer. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm talking to myself as well. It could have been could have been less blunt. But there are times when, I mean, you need to go easy on yourself because I think what it is is you feel like you're drawing in the wrong people. And it's not that. Anything sent to harm you has been bound and speak the truth in love. Um, that's what, yeah, these all three go together. At least that they do. It, it, to me, it's obvious. Like, you're going too hard on yourself. You're afraid something's going to harm you because of something you did. But all you got to do is speak the truth in love. Really. You got this. Like, I just think this is a message for someone who feels like they draw this in a lot. You don't. Let's draw in some healthy relationship for you, okay? What else? Oh, look, Speak the Truth and Love came out again. Different deck. Different deck. I do that on purpose because it's confirmation. What else did we get as advice for you? It's time for a change. This is leading to a change for you. A change, yeah. It, it'll happen. Look, you need to write about it, okay? This is leading to a change of mind, which leads to so many more changes. Open your eyes. Yeah, there's something right in front of you you're not seeing, but open your eyes to it. I manifest that you'll know what it is, that you'll know what it is. Faith over fear, love and light, unique insight, multi-talented. It's time for you to start using all this. You know what this is all telling me is that you are an extremely intuitive person. That's what my collective is. If you, if my readings resonate with you, because seriously, I've never been here to try to predict the future. I'm always telling you that. 
because the future can change. <laughs> I know people don't want to hear that. Look, this also just fell on the floor. It's time for a serious conversation with someone. You know, I'm having a serious conversation with you. <laughs> you need to own your spiritual abilities. That's what this is about. It really is. And maybe this is you supposed to have a conversation with someone as well. So take it as it resonates. That could be the right about this. Because it could be a conversation over text or email or something. Or PowerPoint. Why did I just get that? Like, you know, some of you, I just got that this is a conversation you're going to have in a boardroom or like at work. Like, you're you're somebody's manager or you have to do a presentation you're gonna have to sneak in some stuff <laughs> i've had to do stuff like that before i used to have to give meetings oh it was fun oh it was fun anyway what three cards do you need these are the three cards that you need this is the energy we draw in to conclude this reading nothing can stop good things from happening to you you have excellent ideas and you achieve everything you want in life people are really starting to see this about you like i think what's going on is you are questioning your ideas. You're questioning your how much you deserve all these good things. And it's because of this effect like this emotional vampire. <laughs> you're bringing in a lot of good things. Look, you're going through life. You know, I, <laughs> there's certain phrases I don't want to say. Um, kicking butt and taking names. But you're not trying to. Okay? You're a lesson for this person. You said something. You did something. I mean... Whatever the situation is, I want you to just let your mind go blank and spend some time meditating. Go dark in your mind. Meditate and then just go quiet and like just let God speak to you and and journal about this. The lessons that you need to learn from this. Because I'm telling you, that's what, exactly what this is. And there's some fear that you're going to draw in the wrong energy and think good things are going to stop happening to you. But no. No fear. Faith over fear came out, didn't it? Yeah. Faith over fear. Nothing can stop good things from, from happening to you. I want you to embrace your excellent ideas. And didn't multi-talented, unique insight. See, see, your mind is brilliant. You need to trust your ideas. I'm sending positive ideas your way. Positivity. Anyway, I'm going to end with this. You achieve everything you want in life. It is spoken, it is written, and so it is. Amen.